An emergency stop switch, or e-stop as we've chosen to call it, is a safety device that must be installed outside and adjacent to the principal machinery room door at an ammonia refrigeration facility. Hi, I'm Peter Thomas, President and Senior Engineer at Resource Compliance. There are a variety of e-stop switch types, such as the break glass type, which has been widely used for decades. The purpose of an e-stop is easy to understand. In an emergency, it is advantageous to have a single location to de-energize the refrigeration equipment from a safe location outside the machinery room. E-Stop provides that safe location. E-Stops have been required by code for over 50 years. The first edition of the Uniform Mechanical Code was published in 1967 and required E-Stop installation. The International Institute of Ammonia Refrigeration, IIAR, also included e-stops as a minimum system safety requirement for all machinery rooms, regardless of age, in the first edition of IIAR Standard 9, which was published in 2020. As with any safety device, it is important that the e-stop be periodically tested for proper operation. IIAR Standard 6 requires that e-stops be tested at least annually. It should be emphasized that only qualified persons are allowed to test an e-stop. While the test itself is simple, since it involves de-energizing equipment, it's important that trained personnel be available to restart the system after completing the test. Before testing an e-stop, make sure to notify facility management that the test will be taking place. Once the test has been approved, the switch can be activated to test the functionality. Brake glass switches have a small hammer next to the switch that can be used to activate the e-stop in an emergency. As an alternative to breaking the glass, simply unscrew the nut used to hold the glass in place. Once the glass has been removed, the switch contact will be opened, de-energizing the refrigeration machinery inside the room. After completing the test, the glass can be reinstalled and the system restarted. As with all tests, it is important to document the results as necessary to demonstrate what took place. Visit our website, resourcecompliance.com, for more compliance and mechanical integrity related content.